Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be evaluating a trigonometric value. In other words, cosine of pi over 12. Pi over 12 is in radians, so for simplicity's sake, we may con uh, convert it to degrees, which is something that I often do, because it's kind of harder to work with radians. Some people are used to working with radians, but I'm not. All right, so pi over 12 radians is equivalent to if pi is equivalent to 180 degrees, then this is going to be equivalent to 15 degrees. So in other words, we're trying to evaluate cosine of 15 degrees. And guess what? I have a really bad habit. Forgive me for that, but I don't write the degree symbol. And I, I'm pretty sure my viewers know that. My audience is already familiar. I just don't write it. It's, I know it's bad, but I just don't like writing it. Hopefully it's understood from now on. You're going to see, anytime you see 15 or 30 or 45 or 60 or anything like that, those are always going to be in degrees. Okay, great. So I'll be presenting three methods because I couldn't think of the fourth method uh, right away. But if you do, please let me know in the comments down below. Okay, first method. I'm going to evaluate cosine of 15 degrees. 15 is a semi-special angle. It's not special. <laughs> kind of funny, right? Semi indicates cutting something in half, right? That's what we're going to do. So we're going to start with the double angle formula for cosine. There are three formulas for cosine. Cosine 2 alpha can be written as cosine squared alpha minus sine squared alpha. And you've got to memorize all, or you need to know how, how to come up with the others. This is the main one, but if you replace cosine squared with 1 minus sine squared from the Pythagorean theorem, uh, you're also going to get 1 minus 2 sine squared alpha, or you can write cosine 2 alpha as if you replace sine squared with 1 minus cosine squared, then you're going to get 2 cosine squared alpha minus 1. I memorized all of them. They're very helpful, but you can also derive them as needed. So this is the one I'm going to use because I do have the value of cosine 2 alpha. You'll see in a little bit what I'm talking about. So I do need cosine 15 degrees, and I want to associate it with the cosine of 2 times 15 degrees. Make sense? Which is 30 degrees. So in other words, in this formula, if you set alpha equal to 15 degrees, then you're going to get cosine of 2 times 15, which is 30. Again, I'm not writing the degree sign or symbol, but hopefully it's understood. And this is 2 cosine squared 15. Please don't take away points for not writing the degree symbol, professor. I apologize. Anyways, minus 1. I know how that feels. When you're a student, I'm like, please don't take away points. Okay. So cosine 30 is known. I think it's root 3 over 2. And if you forget that, always draw a 30, 60, 90 triangle. By the way, that's half of an equilateral triangle if you forget that too. But the shorter leg is 1, the hypotenuse is 2, and the, from the Pythagorean theorem, the longer leg is root 3. So cosine 30 is what? Adjacent over hypotenuse, root 3 over 2. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and set this equal to root 3 over 2. And guess what? Our unknown is cosine 15 here. So let's go ahead and solve for it. Add 1 to both sides. Cosine squared 15 times 2 is going to be root 3 over 2 plus 1, which is root 3 plus 2 over 2. And then divide both sides by 2 or multiply by 1 half. Cosine squared 15 is going to be 2 plus root 3. I just switched them because 2 is larger. I just like it that way. Divide by 4, right? Now, what, I'm, what am I going to do with this? Square root it, obviously. Let's go ahead and square root both sides. But when you do square root, you're going to get two answers, right? Because there are two numbers whose square equals cosine squared 15. But guess what? Cosine 15 is positive, right? So I need to take the positive root without further ado. So let's just go ahead and go with the positive solution, which is this one. Okay. Obviously, I can go ahead and uh, take out the square root of 4, but... I don't want to do it. I want to do something else, which is going to be more fun. I want to multiply the top and the bottom. If you work with radicals before, hopefully you'll remember this. Multiply by 2, and then you get the square root of 4 plus 2 root 3, and at the bottom you get the square root of 8. Now the top is basically square root of 3 plus 1 squared. Think about it. 
So, and this is 2 root 2. And now we get root 3 plus 1 divided by 2 root 2. And finally, when you multiply by root 2 over root 2, you're going to get root 6 plus root 2 over 4. Maybe you already memorized this. A lot of people memorize cosine 15, sine 15, tangent 15. Tangent 15 is very nice, by the way. Tangent 75, too. But anyways, that's a different story. So that's the value in simplest form. Make sense? Great. Let's go ahead and talk about the second method. All right. For second method, remember, my goal is to evaluate cosine pi over 12, which is the same thing as cosine of 15 degrees. Okay. I'm going to write the degree symbol only once here. Okay. Cool. So my second method relies on tri triangles. Is that how you say it? Okay, right triangles. So I'm going to draw a 30, 60, 90 triangle first. I'll tell you why I'm doing it. This is 30 degrees, this is 60 degrees, and that's 90 degrees. And then uh, I'm going to replace the numbers. So this is going to be a 1, this is going to be a 2, and this is going to be a root 3. Awesome. Now I'm going to extend the base. How many units? Two units, exactly. Let me tell you why I'm doing it. I want to extend it as much as the hypotenuse of the previous triangle that I had, and then connect these. Now, this gives me an isosceles triangle here, which means its base angles are congruent. But from exterior angle theorem, they are supposed to be 15 degrees each. You see? You get the idea? This is a technique that we use a lot in trigonometry to find half of an angle, which is very easily. And what happens if the angle is greater than uh, 90 degrees? You can still use this, but you have to take care of two quadrants. So that's a different uh, story. But anyways, it works for this, definitely for 15 degrees. But I do need to find the hypotenuse. And uh, without further ado, let me give you what that is. It's going to be this one. And you can simplify it later. That's the hypotenuse. And what I need is cosine of 15 degrees. Let's go ahead and write it down. Cosine was adjacent over hypotenuse. In this case, the adjacent happens to be this whole thing. I'm going to write it as 2 plus root 3 and divide by the hypotenuse, which is our very radical expression. So that should be the answer. But how does that compare to square root of 6 plus square root of 2 over 4? We're going to simplify it. Don't worry. So here's what we can do. First of all, notice that I can take out a 2 here. And that's going to give me the same thing that I got before. So 2 times 4 plus 2 root 3. And if you square root these separately, so kind of like, uh, let's use the square root symbol uh, like this and like that. Right there, multiplied. And here we get the following. 2 plus root 3 divided by root 2 times, this is going to be root 3 plus 1, remember, because uh, we just used it, right? Okay, what can I do with this now? I can rationalize the denominator, but before that, let's go ahead and distribute. This is going to give me root 6 plus root 2, and then obviously I'm going to multiply by the conjugate, which is root 6 minus root 2, and root 6 minus root 2. Now the top part is going to be a little fun. If you don't want too much fun, then you can go ahead and do the following. Just factor out a root 2. This is going to be root 3 minus 1, but I guess it's going to be the same thing. doesn't matter. No. No matter how you do it, let's just go ahead and distribute 2 root 6 minus 2 root 2 plus root 18 minus root 6 divided by root 6 uh, squared minus root 2 squared is going to be 4. Okay, so I'm supposed to get root 6 plus root 2 from the numerator. Let's see if we do. Uh, we should. This is root 6 and root 18 is actually uh, 3 root 2 because 18 is 9 times 2. So this becomes negative root 2 plus 3 root 2, which is positive root 2 divided by 4. And yes, we get the same answer. Of course, it should be the same, but this is just a geometric method. Let's go ahead and talk about the third method real quick, and then we'll finish up. So remember, I'm trying to find cosine of 15 degrees, and I can just use the difference formula for cosine, can't I? Cosine alpha minus beta is cosine alpha, cosine beta, plus, notice the sine change, sine beta, sine alpha. And then now you can go ahead and use 45 and 30 or 60 and 45, doesn't really matter. I'm just going to use 45 and 30. So cosine 45 times, I could probably directly write it. Cosine 45 is root 2 over 2. Cosine 30 is going to be root 3 over 2. And then plus sine 45 is going to be root 2 over 2. And it's going to be 1 half. And it's going to be root 6 plus root 2 over 4. And... This brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and...
बाय बाय